a big problem. A hog lot being built nearby has residents wondering if their health will stand up to the stench. It's a sacred scroll in the Jewish faith. Find out the vital role a South Omaha company plays in its production. Charges against one former Hudson employee. The celebration of Hanukkah starts tomorrow evening, and one of the most important traditions of the holiday is the reading of the Torah. Now, that's a sacred scroll made by hand in Israel, but as KPTM's Laura Shelton explains, a little company in South Omaha plays a vital role in this religious tradition. Five men work the assembly line in a small calf skinning factory in South Omaha, all under the watchful eye of owner Tom Thomaser. He got his start in the meatpacking industry, but saw an opportunity in the Torah business and brought in his first customer nearly 20 years ago. And then looked at my stuff and he says, for 15 years, I've been looking for a man like you. <laughs> and he says, now God brought me to your place. So he's still my customer. Today, Thomaser exports 100,000 skins a year, all directly to Israel, where they're turned into the Torah. Thomaser only has one competitor out of New York, but this Omaha businessman has 70% of the market. I know how to get the product off of the animal correctly. I know how to preserve the product before processing, how to process it, and how to preserve it after processing to get it to them so it's in absolutely perfect condition. The product has to be flawless. Rabbi Drazen explains that imperfections are unacceptable in their copy of God's Word. You're talking about making a representation of God's communication to humanity. It needs to be perfect because it reflects that, that perfection of God. The Torah has a special role this time of year. The celebration of Hanukkah begins Friday night. That means daily readings from these sacred scrolls, scrolls that may have started right here in Omaha. It is unusual to think that a place in South Omaha would be supplying the parchment for, um, for Torah schools in Israel. Yeah, I was taken by surprise. Even more surprising to Thomaser is the worldwide span of his small business. 60 to 70 percent of the Torahs made since the 1980s started in Thomaser's factory. It's a tremendous religious contribution from a man who's not even Jewish. I don't have a job. I have a calling to help the children of Israel get the product they need so they can have the Torah, the joy of the Torah. In Omaha with photographer Mark Smith. Laura Shelton, KPTM News. Tom Thomaser got some special recognition on Tuesday when he was named Nebraska Exporter of the Year. We'll still